is paralyzed here. And I've got a two stage video today for you guys. Firstly, I want to talk about the fact that I am now partnered with a network. And then secondly, I am going to show you guys three class setups as I promised to do previously. But never quite got around to. And I'm going to start doing more Call of Duty Ghost videos from now on. So expect a lot of that. But anyway guys, first of all, the partnership. I am now actually partnered with the RLPS Gaming Network, which is really great and hopefully good things are going to come of this. Um, they approached me and I was quite surprised at the time, but I took them up on their offer. And hopefully that will allow me to move in new directions into new places and get myself noticed a lot more than I am now. And they're currently recruiting guys, so if you are a fellow YouTuber out there looking to get partnered, I will put links below to their channel, to their... and where you can contact them and get information, etc. So that's really, really exciting news, and... Yeah, it should be good, and... I will be doing videos for them, so keep an eye out on their channel because some of my videos will be going up there. <clears throat> Which was quite surprising to me, but yeah. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I think it's important to get involved with different groups of people. They do various other things apart from gaming network partnerships. I think they have their own clan too. So hopefully this will lead in interesting directions. Now moving on to the second part of the video, as I promised I would do class setups. And as you can see I only have one character. I don't really get the point of having different characters, I like one character. But anyway, the first class setup is a shotgun class setup. And as you guys can see it's the MTS 255. Now, on this class I opted to use the muzzle break as you guys can see because it increases range not damage range if you guys didn't know that it basically increases the distance i'm not quite sure by how much i think it's by 25 percent and i do believe it also increases the accuracy to some extent obviously over distance and i also opt to use slug rounds um, I now this attachment has good points and bad points to it. Now, yes, slug rounds are more accurate and deal more damage if they hit because they're more precise. But the downside about slug rounds is that it kind of screws up your hip fire a bit. And <clears throat> sorry, guys. Um. And at times it is better to use a spread shot round, especially um, for close range engagements. But it's personal preference. Um, a lot of my engagements tend not to be too upfront. And if they are upfront, my advice is to aim down the sights and fire. Um, shotguns tend to aim in quite quickly, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue for you guys. Now, secondary can be anything you want. Um, in my personal opinion, carrying a pistol is always useful, but in this game, I wouldn't really rate any of the pistols particularly. Um, so any pistol you like um, is fair enough. And again, lethal and tactical is down to you guys, that's personal preference. I always like frag grenades and concussion rounds. They tend to be what I go for, but you guys might like motion sensors and IEDs, depending on your play style and how you like to play. Now moving down to perks. In my opinion, ready up is one of the most important perks. Simply because of the sprinting, it's basically dexterity from Black Ops 2. Takedown is a very interesting perk. I like it because it allows me to move around the map and kill enemies and not be noticed as much. Obviously I'm still noticed because I appear on the mini-map, but generally teammates don't notice that their fellow 
people, players, friends, etc. have died. Off the grid is probably one of my most favourite perks because it allows me not to be noticed by satcoms and radar pings. And I also believe that it makes you invisible from oracles, but I'm not too sure. But I do believe that is the case. So that is quite useful. And obviously, recall enemy hits with explosives can be tagged. Which can be useful where you're clipping enemy, but you're not quite sure where they've gone. And that can give you the advantage at times. And obviously, focus is very important because it stops you swaying as much. And it's basically also toughness from Black Ops 2, as you don't flinch as much. Which I think in this game is exceptionally important because the flinch is horrible. And I opt to use support package, but kill streaks are down to you guys. You know, you might like strike, you might like support, you might like specialist. I'm not going to tell you guys what to do there because that's personal preference and that's really down to how you play and how many kills you get and what you feel most comfortable with. So that's my first class setup. Um, this is more of a running and gunning class. I use this on maps where it's quite close quartered or wherever I feel like I'm pinned down and I want to dispatch enemies quite quickly. So let's move on to the second class guys. Now second class is sniper rifle class as you guys can see. And I don't actually use any attachments on my sniper rifles at the moment. And for this, I'm not actually too bothered which sniper rifle I use. At the moment, I'm using the, L L the L115, but I also sometimes use the USR with nothing on. They both have a recoil compensator, so both of them get better with each kill. Um, you can use chrome lined or extended mount if you want. Um, I don't see the point. Um... I would obviously say that if you know you're going to be alive for a long time or you're not very accurate to use extended mag so you have them extra bullets but overall neither way is quite necessary um, I do believe that it doesn't really matter which one you use as always secondaries down to you guys and lethal and tactical I won't go through the perks because you've already seen them and to my final and favourite class is the K7 submachine gun. Now with this one I can talk about a lot. It's probably my favourite class that I've got currently. And is probably my favourite weapon on the game. Now the K7 is great because it's got an integrated silencer. Um, obviously that means it's got reduced damage and reduced range. But the accuracy on the gun was quite good anyway. But I put a fog grip on. Um, just to increase that, um, just to increase the accuracy and keep the recoil reduced when aiming down the sights. Because I also put on rapid fire. Now, rapid fire on this gun is very important. Now, as I say, it's got an integrated silencer, so that saves up one um, attachment slot. But also, rapid fire increases the gun's time to kill. And it really doesn't affect the recoil that much, especially with fog grip on. I didn't notice that much change in the gun. It basically just meant I was killing people a lot faster and I've had quite a few good games with it. And overall, out of all the weapons I've tried so far, I would recommend this one the most. It is a really good gun and when you equip rapid fire it... It changes the whole gun dynamic and makes it a lot better. And I wouldn't recommend putting any sights on it. There isn't really any need. Um, if you really wanted, you could put red dot on. But the sights on this gun are pretty decent. And it's not the kind of gun I'd be using all the distance anyway. It's a very close quartered weapon. And has a very good time to kill so. Overall, you really don't need a sights or anything like that, and there's no other attachments I'd really recommend for it. I suppose if you really want it, you could remove the fog grip and put extended clip on, but that would be down to your personal choice again, guys. And as you can see on this class, I am actually 
not using a secondary. Um, that's because I opted to use sleight of hand for faster reloading. Um, that's because obviously as I'm using rapid fire, I go through bullets quite quickly and the fact that I have faster reloading means that in engagements where I'm taking on multiple enemies, I have more of a chance. And I've had a few engagements where I've been taking on three or more enemies and sleight of hand has allowed me to reload and take down that third person. So I would recommend using sleight of hand with this gun. Um, this is probably the only class where I would actually recommend a specific attachment. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, do check out the RLPS Gaming Network and subscribe to them and subscribe to my channel as always. And I hope these class setups have helped you guys. Do test them out because they're some of my personal favourites and I think you guys will enjoy them and do well with them. Anyway guys, I've been paralysed. Hit that like and subscribe button and peace. Make them pay, change their way.